welcome back to the curate uh, sim session okay this video i'm going to show you how we can integrate linux server with ibm curator all right so inside this video i will show you how you can uh, configure your linux server and send all the audit events to ibm curator okay so in here i mention i mention uh, all the steps okay so here is the arch architecture what i'm going to discuss today so here is my linux server and this is my curator siem okay and my, this is a curator 3 in 1 actually so in between these two hosts I have allowed UDP 5144 to communicate uh, and to send the syslogs to curator. Okay. So on the third slide, I have described all the steps and we will discuss later on, right? Step by step. Okay. So let me go to my Linux server. Okay, this is my Linux server. Let me show the Linux server version. Okay, this is my Linux server version. All right. Okay, so we move to the first step. Step one, edit your rsyslog file config. All right. So in this method, I'm going to use rsyslog file but maybe uh, you can use a syslog file also right okay go inside the r syslog file Go to the bottom line then insert the command which I mentioned on the presentation slide. Enter your curator event collector IP or curator 3 in 1 uh, IP. Then specify the port you are going to use. Okay. Okay. Here I already inserted the command. Okay. So I send all the syslogs to this curator server, and this is my UDP port 514. So this is your curator event collector IP or curator 3 in 1 IP. Right after that, colon wq. So it will save my file. Okay. So now I need to re uh, restart the service. Okay. As mentioned in here, I can enter service rsyslog restart command inside the Linux server. Okay, I restarted the server uh, service. After that, we will generate some sample logs using the local command. We generate some sample syslogs, syslog messages. So now 
by right, the curator should automatically detect the Linux server as a log source. So let me go to the curator server now. Okay, this is my curator console. Okay, so navigate to admin tab. Log sources. Inside the log source. You select the Linux OS here. Okay, after selecting Linux OS, still you are not seeing any new log sources. So that means it has not been detected. Okay. So let me go to log activities. Now we need to make sure whether there is a whether there is a connectivity in between your curator server and the Linux server. So once I enter some, once I generate some syslog messages, I should be able to see inside the curator server. Okay. I'm generating some syslogs. Okay, now you can see there is a unknown look event. So here I can see multiple unknown log events. Okay. So now actually my session has become a troubleshoot session, right? Because somehow it it's supposed to automatically detect the Linux server right inside the curator. So unfortunately I'm not uh, the curator is not detected uh, my Linux server. So now I need to manually create the Linux server as a log source. Okay, so I will show you how how we can uh, how we can create Linux server as a log source. Okay. So you double click unknown events. Okay, inside the unknown event, you can see what is the log source identifier name. Okay, this is my log source identifier. So that means either this one can be uh, your Linux server host name or it can be uh, your Linux server IP. Right, so I select this host name and copy it. Then I go to the admin tab, navigate to the log sources, log sources, let me check whether it, it has been detected now, okay still not, so somehow we need to create the log source manually okay so go to the new log source single log source so your log source type should be linux os syslog you can enter any name in here right your convenient name i put 
linux demo linux demo and what and if you need you can specify your group here right so other than that i keep all the default settings as it is okay this is the most important one so here you have to paste your log source identifier right which was uh, obtained from our log activity right from here okay okay go back to the log source window and click finish Now you can see our new log source entity has been created okay and still I, I, I'm not seeing any logs coming from Linux server so let me generate some more uh, syslog events Don't forget, we need after you create your new log source, you need to deploy your changes. Okay, so I go to admin menu again because I forgot to deploy, so I deploy it now. So it takes some time. Okay, after deploying your changes. Let's go back to our Linux server and generate some sample blocks. I navigate to log source. Log sources. All right, it took uh, two, three minutes, and now I'm able to see events from my Linux server. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. So actually, I I was planned to do a simple uh, Linux server integration to Curator. Okay, but somehow I I went through some uh, troubleshooting session also, so. I believe it will help to you.